Hello everyone! In this video we're going to go through the steps to upgrade to Windows 11 version 22H2 from version 21H2 to get hands-on with the new features and improvements before the official release. We're going to be doing this by using the beta channel from the Windows Insider program. The beta channel has been designed for anyone who wants to try upcoming features or have to validate apps and development for their organization. However, you can also use this to upgrade early to the latest version of Windows 11. The releases in these channels are very stable, but they're not final, so you might still run into issues. As a result, it's recommended to use these instructions on a spare computer or virtual machine. You shouldn't use these instructions to upgrade your main computer. Also, it's recommended to create a full backup of your current installation before using these steps. Okay, here's how to upgrade early to Windows 11 version 22H2. First, we need to enroll the computer into the beta channel. And to do this, you first need to open Start and look for Settings. Then go to Windows Update and then open the Windows Insider Program Settings. In here, click the Get Started button. And then we're going to link a Microsoft account. Select the account, click Continue. Then select the beta channel option and click the continue button. Just remember to review the agreement and then click continue. And to finish enrolling the device into the beta channel, click the restart now button. Once you've restarted the computer, you can proceed with the upgrade to version 22H2. And to do that, open start and look for settings. Then go to Windows Update and then click the check for updates button. And as you can see, now the Windows 11 Insider Preview 22,621 is downloading on the computer. Now, depending on when you are using these instructions, it might be better to use the release preview instead of the beta channel. Now, if the final version of Windows 11 22H2 is already available on the release preview, you can just go to the Windows Insider Program settings and then in here, select the release preview option and that will give you the most stable version of windows 11 but at the time of this video the latest preview for version 22 h2 is available through the beta channel once the update is ready to install just click the restart now button Since you will be installing a new version of Windows 11, it will require complete reinstallation. And that might take some time between 20, 30, 40 minutes, depending on your computer configuration. And that's it. You have successfully upgraded from Windows 11 21 H2 to version 22 H2 using the latest preview available through the beta channel. Now, since this is an in-place upgrade, you won't have to go through the initial setup because all your settings will be transferred to the new installation. You can confirm that you have the latest version of Windows 11 by opening Start, looking for Settings, and then on System, About, under Windows Specifications, we can see that we have version 22H2 install on the computer. Once you have upgraded to the newest version of Windows 11, it is a good idea to unenroll the device from the Windows Insider program. And this is to prevent to start getting updates for the following feature update of the operating system. And you can do that by going to Windows Update and then on Windows Insider program, open the Stop Getting Preview Bills settings and then turn on the unenroll this device when the next version of Windows releases. So when you enable this option, you will continue to get updates in previews, but only for this particular release, in this case, version 22H2, after Microsoft officially makes available the new version of Windows 11, your computer will gracefully opt out of the program and it will continue to get updates and be supported throughout the life cycle of version 22H2. And that's it. That's how you get early access to the newest version of Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.